الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد صل النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وين؟ Right, sit down. Right. Today's name. No. What's today's name? As you can see, I've not done any of the writing, Muhammad. Oh, what's today's no. name? What's today's name, Saleh? Um. Al. Al. You wrote it. Mu'min. Al Mu'min. And what does Al Mu'min mean? What does Al Mu'min mean? Uh, the believer. The believer. Oh, okay. So Allah's the, the believer. believer? Yeah. What, what does that mean? I thought we're supposed to be the believers. Right. Allah is al mu'min. Allah says this in the Quran in many different places. He's what a does it mean that Allah is the believer? Number one. Right. Where's the right guy gone? Right. So remember, Saleh. Turn around. That's it. Number one. Allah tells us, well you don't need to try everything, you don't need to try everything, rub that out, it's not going to be in a space. Okay, so number one, Allah tells us in the Quran that he is a believer and what it means is that Allah is true. Allah yeah, actually exists and he is real and it's the truth. So now, there are some people who say, well Allah but probably doesn't exist or... Uh, science created everything and Allah didn't create everything Allah is true Allah is a mu'min and a mu'min means that Allah is real number two Allah whatever he does is true so just write just write true but then you have to understand what that means what does that mean? you wrote to the mouth no, we'll rub it out because you might not understand it afterwards. Whatever he does is true. How do you spell true? True, you don't have to spell true. Nope. How do you spell true, Muhammad? True. 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 Whatever true. he does is true. true. Yeah. True. true. So now, with number one and number two, this is very important because. And number this three is... and number four. What? You just made it worse, Saleh. True, true, tra. Tra, tra. Tra, tra. Oh man, you know you get like 12 out of 12 for spelling. Anyway, That's so Allah is true, He is true, and everything that He does is true. This is connected to Allah's Tawheed because everything that Allah does is real and it is the right way of doing it. That means Allah is the believer because He tells us that He is true and everything that He says is true. And this is very important. You know why? Because everything that comes in the Quran, is it true, maybe true, maybe sometimes true, maybe sometimes not true? Everything true. Everything is absolutely real. Even if we don't understand it, even though it's in Arabic or there's something that we don't understand, or you have a question in your head but you don't know how to answer it, or your mom and dad or your teacher doesn't know how to answer it, it doesn't mean that there is no answer. Because Allah has told us that He is true. And everything <clears throat> that we need to know has been explained to us. What is also true are the stories of the Prophet. So now number three, you need to write the book. Remember? Um. Turn around. The book is true. And the Prophets are true. So what, the, what Allah tells us in the Qur'an about the Prophets and about how He helped them and how He gave them revelation and how they used to do good deeds and how sometimes if people didn't listen to them uh, you know, their, their life became difficult all of that is true. Why? Because Allah is Al 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 Hamid, yeah, that was the last one. But Al Mu'min. Right. Now, if Allah has Tawheed and everything that He does is real and true, and He's given us a book and He's given us a prophet, and all, all of this He has said, look, if you do good deeds, you'll have a good life. 
Does that mean that if you do good deeds, maybe Allah will reward you or He won't reward you? He will reward He will. Why? Because Allah is Al Mu'min. He is the truth. And He says the truth. And everything He does is the truth. So, if you do good deeds, you will have a good life. And if you do bad deeds, it's just like Allah has given you something and then you just waste it. Because that thing that Allah has given to you. Yeah, so now for example, imagine if I give you a nice bar of chocolate. I'll draw the example, yeah. Go on then. Nice bar of chocolate, a nice purple pink bar of chocolate. Excellent piece of chocolate there. Look at that, it's even got bits in it. Excellent. Right, now, if Allah says to you, eat that chocolate, you're allowed to eat it. As it says in the Quran, you can eat what Allah has made. But then he just so you say Bismillah and you eat it. And then you say Alhamdulillah afterwards. But then Will just... Allah be happy with you if you do that? Yeah. Yes, because you are doing what Allah has told you to do. If and if you do that... do it, Allah will reward you because Allah is Al-Mu'min. And you don't need to be scared about that. You don't need to be but, uh, frightened about that. You don't need to think, oh, well, maybe I'm going to do a good deed, but Allah is not going to be still happy with me. You don't need to do that. You have to remember that Allah is a mu'min. And if you do good deeds, Allah will be happy with you. And you need to be, you need to be happy and comfortable that Allah is going to do that. And not be scared that Allah is going to let you down or Allah is not going to give you what he has promised. Now, a person eats that piece of chocolate and he says, Alhamdulillah, after it. Afterwards, is Allah going to be happy with him? Yeah. Is Allah going to be happy? What about number five? Wait. Muhammad, come and sit down. Right. Is Allah going to be happy with him? Yeah. Yes. Right. Now, if somebody else has a piece of chocolate and he eats it and he doesn't say Bismillah, or he doesn't even eat it, he just throws it on the floor. I don't want it. That same piece of chocolate was his chance to make Allah happy. That same piece of chocolate, what's happened? It's got dirty now. He has yeah, got baby. dirty and he has not done what he's supposed to do. And Allah has told us, if you do that, then he will not be happy with you. So, so this is a very important name because Allah has promised us, if you do good deeds, Allah will give you and he, and he will be happy with you and he will give you Jannah and he will yeah. give you lots of nice things even in the dunya yeah. and if you don't listen What's point then number five? Uh -huh. that is point number five point number five is, is that should Allah I reward the, you should I get all the way yeah, there? yeah just draw a line then just draw a line to point number five from the chocolate bar when Allah tells us that he is the believer and everything he says is real and everything that he does is true and in the book uh, he has told us that follow it and he's given us examples in the prophets what happened to those people who didn't listen what happened they, they get punished yeah well they yeah die. or bad things can happen or, or they can end up being bad and rude to other people so remember when when they said to what was the last story that we did hood hood so what did they say to Hood? Ah, you just want our money. Ah, yeah, we don't need to follow you. Yeah. Ah, we don't want to follow you're you because... Weird. Yeah, yeah, they start calling him names. They said, yeah, you're weird. And they also and said... And they also whipped him with sticks. Uh, no, they didn't hit Hood. But they did say to Hood, we're not going to follow... They threw him with rocks. Yeah, yeah, that's right. They did. <laughs> they threw rocks he at him. He his glasses. And they didn't throw his glasses at him. <laughs> uh, and they said to him that the people that are with you, they just... People who are poor, and we don't want to follow people who are poor. We're rich and strong. So Not then, what so happened? Long. So then, they ended up being bad to each other. So now, here, look, number five. You should be writing this. Number five, good deeds. Good number deeds. six, good. bad deeds. And Allah is al-mu'min for both of them. Right, if you do good right. deeds, Allah has promised you and you don't need to be worried that Allah is not going to give you what he has promised. But if you do bad